Hey guys, good morning. It's currently 1.14. Why did I feel like it was still 11? Anyway, I'm currently having breakfast now. I woke up craving fruits. Like, the craving was so bad. The thing is that I was craving fruit so bad ever since yesterday, actually. But then this morning, it was just like, it hit me hard. <laughs> And my mom was going outside, I just followed her and I got some fruits and I made a big bowl of fruit salad. I'm also having some pancakes and sausages and then a big bowl of fruit salad. That's what I'm having for breakfast and I'm watching this series. I was editing before I left. Well, I can't eat and edit so I'm just going to like continue watching. Yeah, today is just a chill day for me. I'm not going out. Almost same as yesterday i'm not going out today i'm just going to spend my day editing i'm going to be switching between editing and <sighs> i'm going to be switching between editing and netflix i'm watching dark desires yeah that's what i'm watching right now i'm on episode five five more episodes to go so yeah that is basically it and I always react every time I eat um, pineapples. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I've spoken to a couple of people that it happens to. So every time I eat pineapples, I have like swollen gums and my tongue to get sore. But regardless, pineapples are like my favorite fruit. So I have a big bowl of, um, I have a jar of vitamin C here. <laughs> when I'm done eating, I'm going to start eating. I'm going to take the vitamin C. Okay. Let me not eat on top. Bye. Yes, I do. The usual, honey. Thank you. I really admire your work. I just wanted to tell what you. What a wonderful coincidence. Why don't you sit down and join us? No, 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 no. no. I, Nothing. No. I like that kid. Is something wrong? Are you upset I asked him to stay? All the little pieces get in
hi guys hey guys good morning so i just came back yesterday from lagos it was a very very last minute trip that was why i didn't even vlog or tell you guys about it or anything i had this client that i was working with or that i am currently working with and she needed us to meet so um the location of my business is lagos and like I have my assistant there, so if she if they need to meet up with anybody, like they can meet up with her. But this was like a this is like a very very big client, <laughs> so I just had to go. I literally booked my ticket the night before. I was in Lagos for five days. Yeah, it was it was good. I went for Black Bones concert. You guys, I really wanted to go for Black Bones concert, but then I wasn't in Lagos, so I was just sad about it. So this was like an excuse for me to, to go for. Black Bones concert. If you don't know, I'm a fan, very big fan. The, the event was amazing. The lineup of the um, artists were was whatever. Lineup of the artists was amazing. It was good. It was for longer, but then I fell sick, so I go back home. I just came back from the hospital now. I went to do some tests. They said there's nothing wrong with me, so I don't even know. I had a scan. I did blood tests, urine tests, all of that. They said there's, there's nothing wrong with me and they just prescribed some antibiotics and all of that. So yeah, that's it. So how are you guys doing? I got some new stuff. So I'm going to, I, I bought some new perfumes. So this is going to be like a mini perfume haul, not mini. So happy Valentine's Day, by the way. <laughs> I didn't do anything for Valentine's Day. I was actually going up and down hospitals on Valentine's Day because I was I was sick the night before was Black Bones concert it was lit I got back home by like 4 a.m. and then by 10 a.m. I was awake looking for hospitals because I, I could barely even walk guys but we thank God that I'm good now um I spoiled myself a little bit <laughs> I, I, I actually not a little bit I actually went all out I got myself some perfumes. I'm so excited about them. So the first two perfumes I got are C Armani and YSL Libre. 
yeah so i have the libre already but then i got the libre intense because i love libre so much and some people say that it is overhyped it is this it is that but then i don't think it's overhyped i love it i love it so i got these the intense you can see the intense is darker let me show you this is libre and then this is the intense you can see it's darker most intense perfumes are darker and like i was watching i saw i've, I've been hearing a lot of people say like if you love libre you love the intense if you want to get one just get the intense you can see that this is my most used perfumes i got it last year july and look at how far i've gone for somebody that has like more perfumes this shouldn't be this low but then this is like one of my most used perfumes it lasts so long so i got them both from shop ID on instagram she sells authentic perfumes then i also got c um Giorgio armani c the passion one version so let me tell you guys i smelled this on somebody and she told me she was using passion Giorgio armani c passion and then i got this one and i promise you it doesn't even smell like what like she was wearing and then when i went to the airport yesterday when i was getting the other perfumes yesterday i now smelled the intense and i realized that oh she actually got the intense but regardless this smells so good but definitely later on i'll cop that one too so i got them both from my sister's perfume store shop bid you guys should go and shop she sells authentic perfumes and um, she also sells arabian perfumes designer perfumes different perfumes yeah mm, these ones i got them i think four days ago yeah and then yesterday on my um i was coming back from <laughs> from lagos and i was in the airport waiting and then i saw essenza and i was like wow sarah you should do something for yourself for valentine's day i was like what do you love the most and i looked at essenza and i walked in <laughs> so i got perfumes i got four perfumes in total yay you guys know i wanted to restock my black opium so when i was about to restock it i now realized that they had a new one which is ysl black opium extreme so the first one i got is the this is another most used perfume of mine i got the 50 ml before of the original um scent <laughs> black opium and then i got the intense very good i really love it you can see the 50 ml i just got the 100 ml because why not i know i know i know some of you be like oh why are you buying perfumes from airports it's more expensive it's like <laughs> i think they add like thank you on top of price of them it's more expensive in airports but i just wanted to do something for myself next perfume i got is in love with you imperial armani there were actually different like versions of this and this was my best i also got it in 100 ml Wee. guys like i spent like 300 just yesterday on these perfumes but it was totally worth it oh my god mm -mm. in love i love it so much and then the next this is actually the first perfume i got is my way by Giorgio armani this one i got in 50 ml boys yeah so i got myself this perfume too and i'm here now i'm wishing i got it in 100 ml mm. it smells so good so so good and the last perfume i got is dolce and gabbana the only one intense this is the intense version i don't want to destroy this thing it looks so beautiful so i'll open it from the bottom i know i know i love the bottle the bottle is so beautiful mature slick I don't know i've heard people talk about dolce and gabbana the only one but why doesn't anybody talk about the intense it's so good so yeah i got this this i'm gonna drop this this and this and this so if i had to pick like two faves that i got I don't think I can pick two faves, but this is a fave. This is a fave. This is a fave. So um, this one smells. If you love the smell of coffee, or you love the smell of coffee in AC. <laughs> 
I know that's such a weird description, but like this. This. We'll give you that. Yeah. Let me just go and arrange it on my tray. I don't even know. Yeah, so when I got that, they gave me this perfume free. This is um, Gui, Pure, Gui Pure or whatever. Yeah, they gave me this one for free. You're supposed to pick between a makeup purse and this one. But the girl was like, I patronized. I was like, I think I was off because my flight was in the morning. I think by like 8 a.m. So she was like, she likes me. I'm a nice person. So she gave me both. She gave me this. And she gave me this, which is like a small, cute makeup purse. Thank you. If you're watching this, even though I know she's not watching. <laughs> yeah. You never even know. She probably is a subscriber. Perfumes I got. I also got a package. Yeah, I went to Beauty by AD store. I think I vlogged it. She released some. She released some um, a new foundation and concealer. So I got it. If you if you are the same shade of foundation as I am, I use bad twelve for foundation and bad eleven. The BAD 11 for concealer, and then I got a new foundation, guys. NARS came out with a new foundation, and I love their foundation lineup. My favorite is the Longwear Radiant, I'm in New Caledonia for that. So, this is the new what's this one called? Light Reflecting. I also got New Caledonia. This is Longwear, you can see they look, they look practically the same. Like, I mean the shade. So I really love how they make their bottles. Then I got this concealer in chestnut. I've been wanting to get it, but there's never chestnut every time I want to buy this concealer. And then I got a PR package from Gerard Cosmetics. Thank you so much to them. They sent me their setting sprays. They actually sent me six. But then I gave my sister one. I gave my friend one. I gave my cousin one. So yeah, I think I'm going to give away one. So the first person to leave a comment and say they want it, I'll send you one of the um, setting sprays. Because I have three more. So two is good for me. I'm okay with two. Yeah, I also got this e.l.f. concealer. I've been wanting to get it. I got the shade. Where's the shade? Deep chestnut. What else is here? PR package. Here our package <laughs> and then they sent me a new mirror too i'm just going to unbox all of these things and throw the cartons away i never throw my cartons away guys like the packs of my stuff i never throw them away i don't know why but today i will so yeah that's just like a mini haul i hope you guys enjoyed it mm. this place smells so good right now i'm so happy with all my purchases I'm here like every time I buy new perfumes, I'm just like a child. I was on like a perfume fast for like for like five months. I held up really good. I didn't buy any perfumes. But now but it's so worth it. Anyway, let me go and edit my video. Please guys. when I do this, I'm like, don't you feel stupid talking to the camera, talking to yourself? Hi guys, so um, I took out my braids and then I washed my hair, I just dried it and oiled it, I put some cream on it, I had my bath, I feel fresh, I put on my night cologne, look here, look here, <laughs> yeah, so that's what's up with me, it's currently 11.36, mini rant. What is wrong with me? So guys, I got these AirPods on Tuesday, on Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, and I lost it. I got I got a new phone, and when I got the phone, I got this for free, and I lost it yesterday. Like okay, while I was coming back home. On the plane, I was listening to music. So when I want to sleep, I can't sleep with music. So I wanted to take out the AirPods and put them back in the case. But the case was in my bag, and my bag was under my seat. 
so before i could get it off i just i just kept it on the seat and i slept off and when i was leaving the plane i left the airport on the seat can you imagine it's so annoying and phones don't even come with airpiece again i also left my um charger but that was like my old charger so i have a new charger yes so please look at what comes in iphone now it's basically just the charger that comes here i just took it out because i want to because i also left my charger i didn't start using this one um ever since i got it i, I didn't start using it because i had my old charger so i just started using it now but it's literally empty there's no um charger head there's there's charger the charging block thing there's no charging block there's no there are no headphones anymore i read an explanation about that so i don't know something about for the environment <laughs> anyway i want to show you guys this orimo pods earbuds or pods i don't know what they're called that i got so these are my after i bought my first airpods i bought them in china i lost them and i came back the second ones i lost it i still have the case the third one i got that was the airpods pro you guys remember when i got that one i didn't lose that one myself so i left it somewhere and then the person sent it back to me and then the dispatch rider lost it and <laughs> i'm still waiting funny enough you know, this delivery company i've not told me anything i spoke to them like two weeks ago so i'm just hoping for a reply so after all of that happened that's like my what fourth Air airports i was like i'm not getting another one i'm not spending because airports are expensive so i got this orimo earbuds i love them like and these are the ones that have the bars i'll be base i don't know anytime i'm getting anything that has to do with like sound even my speakers i like the ones that usually have base name because it just there's just the way the sound is like boom 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 i just like it i don't know so yeah that's how these ones are the problem i have with this is that i don't like this thing that was one of the reasons i didn't like the airpods pro so even if i'm going to get another one which i know i won't but if anybody's to get me another one is the airpods 3 i would want because i don't like this thing because it blocks like you can't hear anything even if you're not playing music when you wear it like you can't hear anything and it's comfortable like it stays yeah i've had this one since december <sighs> my sister said i should like email the airline that's if it's not too late and if they find it they'll give it back to me so i'm going to do that i look you want to give up but uh, because it's not my money <laughs> but then like i'm not going to give up i'll just try and email them today i'm about to go and keep on editing look at my laptop there let me see it. <laughs> yeah i'm about to go and keep on editing um i want to finish watching this series first um this movie first what's the name perfect christmas or what was it called i can't remember yeah i'm watching it now so i just want to go and finish and yeah Today is um, 18th of February. Uh, yeah, so I feel very strong. I just got back from the gym. This is my first time I'm going to the gym this year. Today is Friday and this morning. Yeah, I've actually been thinking of going back to the gym. So yesterday I just texted my gym guy. I was like, yo, I'm coming back. <laughs> yeah, so this is my first time I'm going to the gym this year. And it feels good. I feel stronger i feel i don't know i just miss this feeling there's this feeling you get after having a gym session and i miss having this feeling let's pray i'm consistent um this year motto is consistency and it has been good so far honestly i feel like the hard part is just to start and i'm happy that i started again so yay so i'm about to go to the park now i'm sending my assistant some stuff um food stuff actually because like 
food stuff is cheaper here it's ridiculously expensive and there are just some food stuff like northern food that sh there isn't really access to there in lagos so i have just i bought some stuff and i'm sending it over to her and here yeah, that's what i'm doing this morning i just want to freshen up and then order both and then go there you go through a lot of wipes but then this one you just wipe your face once and even without <laughs> look at how I look different even without um the makeup removing balm like it will still go off but just don't use like cold water use warm water to make it damp instead of cold water so after every use I wash it it's quite easy to wash always use soap to wash it how I wipe off my makeup easy peasy <laughs> because I know that I still have makeup in my eyes and even if I wash my face while I'm bathing this um, you know that mascara eyelash glue all of that so I use this I got this from mini so is a refreshing makeup removing water or I also have this one from Zikel is there micellar cleansing water and use any of those any even the garnier micellar water just put a little and then i close my eyes and i use it to wipe my lashes because sometimes like yeah can you see you see the mascara eyelash glue all of those because sometimes even if you went have your bath they don't go off so I just like to clean it even before I enter the bathroom. So yeah. Yeah, I just thought to show you guys how to do my makeup. I was so productive. I filmed my updated makeup routine. And then after that, I also filmed a TikTok video. Oh my god, this video took me so long. I this Bobrisky video. Anyway, I'm going to shower and then sleep now. Good night, guys. I'm so tired. I'm so tired because I went out today too, and then I filmed blah blah blah. And then I used my new lights. I used my new lights. Can you see my green hair? I don't know when I'm rocky, but rocky is sunshine. I'm wearing lip gloss. I have this habit of constantly wearing lip gloss. Like now, I'm going to bath, but I'm wearing lip gloss. Can you imagine? When I'm out, I'll still wear lip gloss again. I'm so happy with the feeling of finally having time for myself. Like, that stress life wasn't for me. I'm so happy I'm done with it. So excited I'm done with the stress. Of course, like, from time to time, I still, like, have to check on what my assistant is doing and all of that. But, like, now she's practically, like, the... MD of the business me. I'm just here chilling CEO. <laughs> you know the vibes period <laughs> Good morning. So today is Sunday and I was cooking in the kitchen So I was just like, you know what? Let me vlog This is how it's going so far. There's some smoke, that's why. <laughs> it's 
fish is up and then this is down. I don't even know if I meant to turn the fish. See, some of the juice is pouring here, so. So far, this is what we have. The recipe I watched, she said that halfway we should add the sauce on it. So that's what I'm going to do. Some of my sauce. This looks like it's going to be so yummy. Okay, okay. Guys, I thought I was recording. This one got burnt. So this is our video set. Let me put this. This was so easy to make. Honestly. Like following the recipe, it was so easy to make. <laughs> and it cost me less than like 2k to make everything here. Honestly, it's because of my location. I got the fish for 1.5. Planting was 500. This already had a home. And the last meal I bought was 3.5, the bully and fish. And it was like middle of fish and like I think two plantains. It was even up to two. It was like 3.5. Sometimes it's good to eat at home. Anyway, let me go and enjoy my meal. This was slap with soda. But I'm not taking soda right now, so I'll just drink water. <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys my meal for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this mini session with me. Bye. Hi, guys. Hey guys, what's good? How are you doing? I just finished editing now, like I'm so tired. I'm going to have finished editing ever since. It's currently like 4 41 p.m. I meant to have finished ever since, but then I was on a very long business call. It was so long that as I was on the call, I was getting pissed off because like I know I have to upload the video today and I, I didn't finish editing it yesterday because I was watching Inventing Anna and I just procrastin procrast I just procrastinated to today so I was so mad at myself. Like why didn't I just finish yesterday? But then I'm done now. So I'm exporting now. Hopefully before I finish getting ready to go out. Because I want to go and take a walk. I'm always indoors. 24-7. I just want to go out and take a walk. It will be done exporting and I'll start uploading. But wait, what will I even use to upload it? Last I shall get this video up today. Um, I've been counting my steps because, and I've been seeing that I barely even get to 500 steps daily. That's because I'm always indoors. I'm still going to the gym, but I didn't go to the gym. I'm waiting. I'm very exhausted. That's why I'm talking like this. This is the video I just finished editing. Let me show you guys the intro. I did a thing. This is these are the airboards I've been using. I don't know if I showed you guys that time, but this is the Orimo. What's it called? Them? Orimo. Intro. Uh, uh, mm. La 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 la. Ooh. Hi. Hi guys, good morning. How is everybody doing? I woke up excited today. I just got back from the gym. Look at how I'm looking. <laughs> yeah, I just got back from the gym and I had a very good session today. It was it was very good. Don't ask me why my hood is on. My hair is very, very messy. Throughout the gym, this is how I was. <laughs> because of how messy my hair is. Like my hair was covered throughout the gym. I'm going to try and get it done today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <sighs> honestly like today during my workout i was listening to hmm, i was listening to sarah jakes do you guys know who that says you probably know who she is i really love her sermons <clears throat> yeah so i was listening to her and honestly like i've just been feeling so grateful to god hmm. I feel like I want to start sharing my testimonies here because I feel like I have so many like <clears throat> like every month I'm not even joking every month I have a testimony like just being alive self is a testimony but like you get what I mean like I always have like a testimony testimony from just believing God from tithing tithing is, is like my secrets in this life guys I always, it's always like, oh, I don't want to come off as a preacher or whatever, but I don't even care at this point. It's like, 
see me as a preacher oh yes i'm preaching to you <laughs> but yeah tithing has is like one thing if you're on my snapchat you've probably seen me post about this but like tithing has has literally changed my life like it's one of the hardest things to do especially when your finances start to grow so for example like if you get 40,000 naira now please tell me why i always start feeling uncomfortable when i start talking about money whatever if you get 40,000 naira now like to remove 4,000 and give god is like mm, okay that's okay it's not bad that's 10 percent right <clears throat> but then imagine you now get 10 million naira to remove 1 million and give god <laughs> that seems so big do you understand yeah but honestly like it, it makes it a difference trust me trust me it makes a difference i feel like that's one, one of my biggest secrets and i'm just grateful to god that i've been able to hack this not like i've hacked life but i'm just like sharing this with you i don't know who's watching it but then you need to adopt the habit of tithing um and like i when i post on this one question i get asked the most is that oh do you think um tithing should be only given to church um well me i don't see it that way um i feel like you can do it in different ways to me i don't know i'm not a pastor or anything i don't have any proof but i just feel like you don't even necessarily have to give it to god you can sow into somebody's life somebody that you think needs that money at that time even if it's no money me i my own is money i i see it as you can sell it to somebody's life that you think the person needs it you can give it to the less privileged in different ways that's just how i see it it doesn't necessarily have to be church it's the heart that matters as far as god knows that yeah, you're giving him and yeah the what i had a testimony from it was in january January was January's testimony came from my like fasting because I did it 21 days and pray and fast. I had testimonies from that. I, sh I shared like five on my Snapchat, but it was on my private story. Sometimes I feel like sharing some things are so personal, like not personal, personal. I'm like, of course, I want the world to know what God has done, like, so that you know that our God is good, though. But then, like, coming to put my business out there is not always like because to be honest not everybody's happy for you let's just be honest like not everybody's happy for you yeah so that i just i was just listening to that message and like i was thinking like so let me tell you guys like when when i started my tithing journey um it was in 2016 so when i started i made a covenant when i started when i gave my first big tithe I remember I sold my phone. I sold my phone. This phone I just got newly as my graduation gift from secondary school. Like two months in, I sold the phone and I gave the money to God and I made a covenant with God. And I was like, oh, like, okay, this was in Shiloh. In Shiloh, I gave it, I made a covenant with God and I was like, oh, I never, I never want, like, moving forward the years moving forward i never want my shiloh sacrifice to be anything less than this like i'll never have a better shiloh or a better last month or a better whatever and speaking shiloh wise it has never been less guys like never the next year just keeps getting better the next year gets better last year was the biggest that so that shiloh sacrifice tight into like sometimes god will bless you it's like like my january my january blessing was like no it wasn't general january blessings testimonies were there but like my february was like the this month was like the biggest breakthrough i've ever had in my business biggest and i remember removing this tithe was the hardest thing i've ever done in my life <laughs> it was like I was like, ha! Huh, am I sure? It's complete. You're start, you're start, you're starting to uh, like second guess giving this tithe because you're like, ah, God, you understand? Country is hard. Country is hard. <sighs> but then, 
I did it. I did it regardless, and I'm so grateful to God for giving me the grace to do it. Courage, whatever. Blah blah blah. Am I blabbing? I hope I'm not. Though. I'm just here to. After listening to that message, she was just saying, "Oh, sometimes like God has given you a platform to share with people what He has done for you, just to inspire them, just to like preach His message." You get, yeah. I don't know if I did it directly or who I have impacted to give their tithes, but then you should give your tithe and you should take God seriously generally. I'm not the best Christian. <laughs> uh, let's not even get let me not even get started with that part. But I'm also on my journey and this is just one thing that has helped me. Of course you can't be giving your tithe and be wayward Christian and think oh but we're all learning, right? We're all on this journey. We're all trying to build ourselves, find ourselves, and all of that. So, yeah. I hope this message was helpful to somebody. I'm about to start my day. I want to go and shower now. And then start editing. Today's an editing day. I wanted it to be a filming day. But then I missed my yesterday's upload. So I want to try and replace today. Um, try and like replace it with today. Uh, who all of my best friends are sick of pretending we want <laughs> truth. We want it, guys. I'm going through midlife crisis. As I'm here, give you my testimony. I'm gonna pray for me. Ah, I couldn't sleep yesterday. <laughs> I'm going through midlife crisis. Um, this early 20s is the ghetto especially when you're trying to be an independent woman the ghetto yeah